Hi there, Duncan from Six Five, and in this video I'm going to show you how you take a native Microsoft Word document and convert it into Google Sheets and back again if, for example, someone who is a non-Google user shares a DocX uh, document with you. Uh, obviously, if you don't have Microsoft Word installed, and why should you, frankly, if you're a Google user? You can edit that and you can share it back to them if you wish to collaborate on that document. Um, and then they can obviously uh, download that from, uh, from Google Docs as well. Or if you need to share it back to them in a DocX format, you can do that too. So I have my demo document. It's, uh, as you can see, a Microsoft Word document. And if I just straight up double click on that, you'll see that it will tell you it's opening it in Google Docs. It's doing some little bits of work and some other stuff on it. I don't know exactly what, but it opens it up and it presents it and it looks just like it did in Microsoft Word. Now, this slug up in the top left hand corner shows you that it is a native docx format. Um, and that, what that means is that whilst you're editing this and stuff, you're doing it in a sort of compatibility mode, right? Google Docs is doing enough to make it look and work like it does in Microsoft Word. Now, the downside to that is you lose some functionality that you would otherwise see in Google Docs, right? So you can do a couple of things. Uh, the easiest way to convert it is then go file and save it as Google Docs. Pop open a new tab and that will uh, give you the Google Doc version of this uh, file. Now, you'll see that little blue tab has gone away. If I just flick back to the DocX version, that Microsoft Word format, you'll see it's still there. And then over on native uh, Google Docs version, you'll see that's not there. And back in my uh, folder, if I just refresh that now, you'll see I've got a Google Docs version and I've got a Microsoft Word version. Uh, in my experience at this point, you can probably kill the DocX um, or right click and, and remove it. I mean, you don't really need it. Uh, it does depend on you know some of the features, like if something has been used in Microsoft Word that's not supported, in Google Sheets, they are different platforms and different software after all. Uh, then obviously you might want to keep the DocX, um, but you know generally few and far between. Majority of, of Word documents are you know files with text in, images, and so forth. Uh, so just you know be cautious of that. But generally speaking, I, I dump the DocX. I don't need it anymore. Um, and that's because I can send this back to the person who sent it to me originally by going file download and docx and that will download the exact same file in a docx format so i can show you that in finder there it is there's my demo doc in a document a word document preview i'm on a mac so that's a text edit preview um, and of course uh, keeping it in sheets is probably a really good way of doing it because now you can share it to somebody else you can collaborate on the file together and you get all of the extensions and so forth that are available with google sheets too so it's pretty easy to take a microsoft format document edit it natively keeping the microsoft format or converting it into google sheets and getting all the advantages of google sheets too thanks very much for watching if you found this video useful please like and subscribe below and i'll see you in the next video